Why is it said that we can never travel with speed more than the speed of light? Why is the upper limit the speed of light? Is it not a close-minded approach? Um, <laughs> we don't believe that it's like that. It's the equations of physics that tell us. When you accelerate an object because of the effects of relativity, relativistic effects, the mass of that object increases. And if you want to accelerate an object to a speed that is close to the speed of light, you have to impart an enormous amount of energy to it. And the effect is that that object becomes more and more massive. And to accelerate an object to the speed of light, the equations tell us that you would have to impart an infinite amount of energy to it. And we don't have an infinite amount of energy anywhere. And that's why it's impossible to accelerate something to the speed of light. <clears throat> and more than the, than the speed of light is a whole different story. And it's not physically, physically possible. So it's not like we have decided, all of us together, all the scientists, that this is how it's going to be. We have decided that nobody can travel to the speed of light or more than the speed of light. And because we say it, that's the law. It's not like that. We have deduced the laws of physics from experimental and observational evidence, from observing the patterns of the universe. And the best theory that we have is the general theory of relativity, which tells us all these things. And this theory has been tested hundreds of times, thousands of times. If the objective of these tests is to falsify the theory, is to prove it wrong. Scientists have been trying for the past 100 years to prove this theory wrong. And every single attempt has failed. That's why we believe it. It's not like we believe. It tells us what it is, what, what the world is like, what the universe is like. And because we are not able to prove it wrong, we have to accept these equations. So it's not a close-minded approach. It's a scientific approach. Science is not about belief. I believe I can fly so I can fly. It's not like that, you see. So it's not a close-minded approach. It's the scientific method at work here. And we cannot... Uh, I mean, if people want to believe that you can travel at the speed of light, fine, believe it. I, I wish you all the best in your attempt to travel at the speed of light. It won't happen, right? So that's how it is. It's not about belief. It's not about being close-minded. I'm an open-minded person. You cannot be a good scientist unless you are really open-minded. Right? So that's how it is. It's, it's, it's paradoxical, but that's how it is.